The USS Arleigh Burke class destroyer is a type of American destroyer. It is also called as DDG-51 and is suitable for the preparation of the United States military. The first ship named USS Arleigh Burke joined the fleet in 1991. The characteristics of the USS Arleigh Burke class destroyer are. Their size is about 505 feet long. Its maximum speed is 30 knots. Its armaments include missile launchers, torpedoes, gunfire, and automatic cannons. It has the ability to transport soldiers and equipment in changing missions. The USS Arleigh Burke class destroyer was built to make the United States naval warfare more efficient. It excels in warfare situational awareness and guidance. Some of his modern weapons include Vertical Launching System VLS, used for missile launchers and Spy-1 Radar System. It has the ability to know the information of the distance, it is an advanced technology. An SQQ-89 anti-submarine warfare system, used to detect submarine submarines in the area. The USS Arleigh Burke class destroyer provides security for the United States defense and national security. It is managed by people who protect the country and protect the people. USS Arleigh Burke is named after the President of the U.S. Navy from 1955 to 1961, Admiral Arleigh Albert Burke. He was one of the Navy's standout commanders in World War II, the Korean War, and the Cold War. He also served as Chief of Naval Operations from 1955 to 1961. In addition to his duties as a commander and chief of naval operations, Admiral Burke was also recognized for his contribution to the strengthening of the United States Navy for many years. This includes his cooperation in building the Navy in the nuclear age and the expansion of the Navy around the world. From the information available, the USS Arleigh Burke class destroyer is one of the most advanced and versatile ships of the United States Navy. Currently, there are more than 60 ships belonging to the Arleigh Burke class destroyer standard, which are used in response to various world security challenges. These warships are multi-mission destroyers able to conduct anti-aircraft warfare AAW, with Aegis and surface-to-air missiles, tactical land strikes with Tomahawk missiles, anti-submarine warfare ASW, with towed array sonar, anti-submarine rockets, and ASW helicopters, and anti-surface warfare ASU-W, with harpoon missiles. With upgrades to their int SPY-1 phased radar systems and their associated missile payloads as part of the Aegis Ballistic Missile Defense System, ships of this class have also demonstrated capability as mobile anti-ballistic missile and anti-satellite platforms. The lead ship of the class, USS Arleigh Burke, was commissioned during Admiral Burke's lifetime on 4 July 1991. With the decommissioning of the last Spruance class destroyer, USS Cushing, on 21 September 2005, the Arleigh Burke class ships became the U.S. Navy's only active destroyers until the Zumwalt class became active in 2016. The Arleigh Burke class has the longest production run for any U.S. Navy surface combatant. 72 are active as of June 2023, with 20 more planned to enter service. The class saw its first combat action through Tomahawk land attack missile TLAM, strikes against Iraq. Over 3 and 4 September 1996, USS Laboon and USS Russell launched 13 and 8 TLAMs, respectively, as part of Operation Desert Strike. In December 1998, Arleigh Burke class destroyers again performed TLAM strikes as part of Operation Desert Fox.11 Arleigh Burke supported carrier strike groups engaged in Operation Iraqi Freedom, which included TLAM launches against ground targets during the operation's opening stages in 2003. In October 2011, the Navy announced that four Arleigh Burke class destroyers would be forward deployed in Europe to support the NATO missile defense system. The ships, to be based at Naval Station Rota, Spain, were named in February 2012 as Ross, Donald Cook, Porter, and Carney. By reducing travel times to station, this forward deployment allows for six other destroyers to be shifted from the Atlantic in support of the pivot to East Asia. Russia threatened to quit the New START treaty over this deployment, calling it a threat to their nuclear deterrent. In 2018, CNO Admiral John Richardson criticized the policy of keeping six highly mobile BMD platforms, in a little tiny box, defending land, a role that he believed could be performed equally well at less cost by shore-based systems. In October 2016, 
The Arleigh Burke class destroyers Mason and Nitsi were deployed to the coast of Yemen after a UAE auxiliary ship was struck in an attack for which Houthi rebels claimed responsibility. On the 9th of October, while in the Red Sea, Mason detected two anti-ship missiles headed toward herself and nearby USS Ponce fired from Houthi-controlled territory. Mason launched two SM-2s, one ESSM, and a Nulka decoy. One Asham was confirmed to have struck the water on its own, and it is unknown if the second missile was intercepted or hit the water on its own. On the 12th of October, in the Bab el-Mandeb Strait, Mason again detected an inbound anti-ship missile, which was intercepted at a range of 8 miles 13 kilometers by an SM-2. On the 13th of October, Nitsi conducted TLAM strikes destroying three Houthi radar sites used in the previous attacks. Back in the Red Sea, Mason experienced a third attack on 15 October with five Ashens. She fired SM-2s and decoys, destroying or neutralizing four missiles. Nitsi neutralized the fifth missile with a radar decoy. On 7 April 2017, the Arleigh Burke class destroyers Ross and Porter conducted a TLAM strike against Sherat Airfield, Syria, in response to Syrian President Bashar Assad's chemical attack on his people three days prior. The ships fired a total of 59 Tomahawk missiles. On 14 April 2018, Laboon and Higgins conducted another TLAM strike against Syria. They fired 7 and 23 TLAMs, respectively. The strike targeted chemical weapon sites as part of a continued effort against Assad's use of chemical warfare. The Arleigh Burke class destroyers Donald Cook and Winston S. Churchill took positions in the Mediterranean prior to the 2018 strike to mislead defending forces.